Okay, so I've got another couple of uh, goodies here to do an unboxing and tabletop review of. Uh, this time around, they're not Victron devices, surprisingly enough. These are uh, some things from Midnight Solar. So the thing in the box here, it's a Midnight Solar, what they call Baby Box. Um, it is a tiny breaker box. And then I have here a breaker that goes into the box. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this is and we'll talk about how it is that I uh, use it. Let me put the breaker off the side here and we'll just open up the box. So <clears throat> here it is. That's it. That is the little breaker box. <clears throat> line that up here so it's a little bit easier to see. You can actually see it's got a number of different spots that are still full. This is, or uh, got the shields on them. It's already got uh, one open for your single slot breaker or whatever you, you want to call it. Uh, to add the additional ones, you just break those out. Um, you know what? I should have grabbed a screwdriver. Let me grab a screwdriver real quick and we'll take a look at the inside of that. All right. Back with some tools here. So I want to take a look at the inside of this and then we'll talk about how the breaker uh, works with it. So to open the thing up, just unscrew these two screws. Oh, as I smack all my recording equipment here. That's not very good. There we go. One screw. And almost two screws here. There you go, two screws. That little lock washer there. Make sure I don't lose those. And there we go. That's the inside. Comes with some additional screws uh, here so that you can screw this to some uh, back end. Uh, thing it looks like and you've got another little grounding plate there too it looks like and this is where your uh, breakthroughs actually clip on and so you've got some knockouts on the top and the bottom here the idea is you would knock those out you'd bring your cables in and out and then connect them to the breaker so let's take a look at the breaker now and see how this plugs in so what I've got here is a an 80 amp Hope that's the right direction. Yeah, an 80 amp breaker. Uh, so it's double wide here. You can see in this case, these are that's a single wide thing, and this is twice as wide as that. Anyway, the reason I've got this 80 uh, amp breaker is this is the one that goes for the new Orion DC to DC converter because the the DC to con DC converter can do 70 amps continuous. So I'm going to put an 80 amp breaker on it. Uh, to protect the wires. Um, so yeah, that's what this is for. I already have again one of these installed in the rig and it's already full. I have another 80 amp breaker in there for the existing Orion and then the other spots are for two other breakers uh, that are being used for the solar, both coming in from the, the solar and then going out to uh, the, the battery system. So anyway, uh, the idea here, you take these, you notice you've got these two little clips back here on the back and some little hooks. The idea is that stuff hooks onto, let me see here, move sideways, you can see how it hooks onto the rail here and then those little clips, I can show you here, you pull those little clips out and this thing snaps, I don't know if I can do this with It's hard to do with trying to do this on the camera, but the idea is you get behind these here, you pull them out, and then they'll snap into place, and it just locks this thing in. Let me see if I can get in here and do this really quick with a screwdriver while I'm on camera. You know, you always do the, the crazy stuff on camera, right? Make your mistakes and everybody laughs at you. That's okay. Get 
almost get it there. There we go. Okay, grab it. There we go. Oh, well, I had it. Pop those back in. I guess I could have popped them out first and it would have been good. All right, so <clears throat> that's in there. Now you notice that's not going to fit, so I'm going to pop a couple of these extra things out here. And now I've got room for that breaker to pop through and get it lined up. And there you go. That's essentially how you install the breaker in that baby box. So if you want to see how it looks from the top there, you can see how much overlaps. And you'd see this from the front. So you can come in and toggle your breakers on and off. So that's basically the little baby box um, breaker system. These are, uh, I found a really good uh, idea. Um, before going to the midnight solar breakers, I used just those like cheapo breakers. Let me see if I've got one over here real quick. I can show you and compare. All right, so these are the type of breakers that I would use before, right? I'm sure you've seen these, just a simple thing where you can kick that button and it trips the breaker, then you can just close it up and that closes the breaker. These are what I was using initially, and what I found is I was having these go bad on me. They just stopped working. And then when I was designing my current system, talking to Matt at Continuous Resources, he said, oh yeah, we see that all the time. These type of breakers just never last. They're always failing. And that's why he pointed me towards uh, the Midnight Solar Breakers with the baby back box. And I'll tell you, this is just kind of the perfect system. Uh, they cost more, definitely, that's for sure, than these cheap little ones. But the truth of the matter is, I haven't had one of these fail. I actually had one, maybe two of these fail in a year in a previous system. And I've gone over a year now and I had, haven't had any problems with the Midnight Solar Breakers. So anyway, there we go. This is basically just a quick uh, overview and opening, boxing, uh, unboxing and review of some of the Midnight Solar components. The baby box, um, baby breaker panel, and an example of a breaker that would go into that breaker panel. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, I've got a lot more stuff coming, so thanks for dropping by and watching the video, and hope to see you on future videos.